Raise the car. Mr. Jack, I, I have said it. I have said it again. I, I didn't steal it. What on earth is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Jack, I, 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 I just, I just took the car. Listen, Mr. Jack, listen to me carefully. You have now or never. Where is the car? Mr. Jack. What is wrong with you? What? Mr. There was an eyewitness that saw you driving the car out of the compound. Mr. Jack, I keep saying it. I am not the one. I... I see you are very stubborn. And I'm going to deal with you. What? So you're back? Yes, I am back. Good afternoon. And what is good about the afternoon, you this rapist? Please, can you just don't call me that? I have served my years in jail. I am back and I'm a changed person. <laughs> changed person indeed. Once a criminal, always a criminal. And now that you're back, I know nothing or anything is safe around here. But I just told you I, I am a Oh, just shut up! You criminal. Just get out of my sight. What? Where's my car? I, I parked here. Oh my God. I said it. That criminal is back and he has stolen my car. Because how else can my car go missing? It's not magic. How? What is this? Hey, baby girl. Hi, Corinne. Thank God you're back. Can you imagine that useless ex-convict stole my car? Really? Yes! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yes! I saw your car earlier today, but I thought it was your boyfriend, George, driving the car. I I'm sure he's the one. I knew it. I certainly know he's the one. You know what? I'm going to call the cops. Um, okay. Good afternoon. Please, sir, can you come to house 35 Houston Close? Someone just stole my car and I know exactly who it is. Thank you very much. I'll be waiting. He is going back to that jail because I don't understand the reason why he just came out today and he decided to steal my car. Can you imagine? I, I drove in and went inside. Now I can't find my car anymore. Let's just wait for the cops to get here. All right. But I'll make sure he goes back to jail today. I just hope that guy hasn't gone to sell my car. Oh, he's here. Thank you for coming. Someone stole my car and I know who the person is. My friend here is also an eyewitness. She saw him. Where is the person? Come with me. I know where he stays. All right. Officer, he's the one. Good afternoon. Please, how can I help you? Sir, you're under arrest for theft. What? Theft? Yes! You stole my car and my friend saw you driving it away. I, 
I, I, I, I, I didn't, I didn't steal your car. Come on, I, I've been indoors. That's a very big lie. Corinne, didn't you see him driving the car? Yes, I saw you. Officer, that's the lie. Just shut up, sir. He has been in jail for raping somebody, and he just came out today, and he decided to steal my car. Look. If you don't provide my car, I will make sure you spend the rest of your life in jail. You and your useless family. But I, 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 I didn't steal. Officer, arrest him! Sir, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to a lawyer. If you don't have one, you still to provide one for you. Sir, please move. You are under arrest. Sir. Please move, move. Hi team, I'm Jack. I'm sure you know the reason why I'm here. But, we can make things the easy way, or you can make it the hard way. I will ask you a very simple question, and I'll need a straight answer from you. Where is the car you stole? Car. I know you just came out from jail. And I'm sure you remember your experience there. Do you just want to go back and gain more experience? No. Then confess. Where is the car? I didn't steal any car. <sighs> you know, I have done my research. And I see you have a sick mom, always in the hospital. Before you got into prison the last time, your wife put to bed. And I am certain she is willing to forgive you. Come to think of it, your wife getting to know that the first day you are coming out from jail, you are going back to jail for stealing a car. Isn't that shameful? But if you confess now, I will let you go, and no one will know about this. I give you my word. Mr. Jack, I, I, I said it before. I just, to... just shut up! Don't make me lose it. Think about your daughter. She's five years old. Imagine coming back when she's 20 years. Do you know you can stop that from happening if you confess now? Think about it. Sir, I'll be honest with you. I didn't steal the car. I said I'm a thief, man. I'm what is wrong with you? Why not make things easy for yourself? Confess! Mr. Jack, I, I do. Where is the car? Jack, I, I have said it. I have said it again. I, I didn't steal it. What on earth is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Jack, I, 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 I just, I just took the Listen, Mr. Jack, listen to me carefully. You have now or never. Where is the car, Mr. Jack? What is wrong with you? What? There was an eyewitness that saw you driving the car out of the compound. Mr. Jack, I keep saying it. I am not the one. I, I see you are very stubborn. And I'm going to deal with you. Mr. Mr. Jack, Mr. Sir, please, I mean. Okay. I'll be back for you. Mr. Tim, I'm sorry. Release him.
please come with me. Corinne, I feel so bad. I actually thought it was Tim that stole the car. Not knowing Josh took it out without telling me. I just hope he forgives us. Honestly, I shouldn't have said I saw him. It's not your fault. I'm sure you were just confused. Let's just wait for him to get back. I already called the police and told them the car, the car is home. He's back. Tim. Tim. Please, I, I really want to apologize. I'm so sorry. We found the car. The thing is, my boyfriend actually drove it out without telling me and I just thought you were the one that stole it. Please, just find a place in your heart to forgive us. I am also very, very sorry. The whole witness scenario was a lie and I shouldn't have done that. I'm really, really sorry. I didn't deserve what you did to me. Because I, I, I didn't steal your car. And I was tortured mentally and psychologically. That was unfair. We're very sorry, Tim. Please just forgive us. See, I have nothing against you. You should never judge anyone by his or her past. Yes, I was guilty for the crime I committed years ago. But it doesn't mean I'm still the same person. I'm a changed person now. But it's fine. As for you, lying against someone might endanger you. Just be careful. Thank you. Once again, I'm very, very sorry for everything. It's fine. Thank God everything is settled now. Let's go. Cool.